As the investigation continues into the accidental deadly shooting on the set of the Alec Baldwin movie, a sinister explanation is being offered up by the attorney for the young armorer on the film. Is it possible that a disgruntled crew member slipped live ammo into a box that was supposed to only contain blanks? Les Trent with what's behind the stunning speculation. Was it sabotage? An attorney for armorer Hannah Gutierrez-Reed is floating an astonishing theory. I believe there is the possibility of actual sabotage. Attorney Jason Bowles claims someone may have intentionally placed a live round in the box of dummies that Gutierrez-Reed used to load the gun that Alec Baldwin fired, accidentally killing his cinematographer. That's a pretty damning uh, allegation. Who would have placed a live round inside the the box of dummies. We're not ruling anybody out in our investigation. We're looking at everything. And there were people disgruntled on the set. They had walked up the day before. Hours before the fatal shooting, several crew members walked off the set, reportedly over safety concerns and hotel accommodations. Today, for the first time, Gutierrez Reed's lawyer said his client was not inside the church when Baldwin opened fire because the armorer was off doing her other job as prop assistant. He claims A.D. David Halls was in possession of the gun. She was not in the church, and at that time they were doing uh, what's called tech prep. So David Halls had the firearm. He was sitting in the pew when she left. He also says Gutierrez Reed had checked all chambers before handing the gun off to Halls. The armor did check it. She spun the rounds, uh, the cylinder, for Mr. Halls. Mr. Halls then had the duty to check it and had to ensure before he handed it to somebody else. And he says it would be very difficult to have recognized a live round inside the chamber. This is an example, if you can see it, of a dummy round. Um, a dummy round, as you can see, has a projectile tip. It has a, a cylinder. Um, it has a primer. It, it resembles a, a real round. Hall's attorney has said it was not his duty to check the gun. The movie's costume designer came to Baldwin's defense. I am so sick of this narrative. I worked on this movie. The story being spun of us being overworked and surrounded by unsafe, chaotic conditions is bull blank. Baldwin must have appreciated what she had to say. He posted her rant on his Instagram page. But this camera assistant, who quit the day before the shooting, says safety concerns were ignored. Lax COVID policies, uh, the housing situation driving to and from Albuquerque, uh, and specifically gun safety, a lack of rehearsals. The movie's production company has previously said they never received an official complaint concerning weapon or prop safety.